Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be using the ESP32 to record and play WAV files to and from an SD card. This video was prompted by a viewer who's been having a nightmare trying to get this to work. I thought, how hard can it be? I already had an SD card capable board with my M5 Core 2 stack, but I hadn't actually managed to make it recognise any SD cards. So I ordered a breakout board to see if I could make it work on a generic dev board. As soon as I'd ordered, I looked through all my old components and found I already had a breakout board along with a couple of other dev boards with SD card slots. So with an abundance of equipment to hand, I went in search of a library. This is where I discovered that breakout boards are completely unnecessary and that SD cards have an SPI interface that can be wired directly to an ESP32. Next time, I'll do my research first. Wiring up is pretty straightforward. We need a 3.3 volt and two ground lines. With these taken care of, we just need the four lines for SPI. MISO, MOSI, CS and CLOCK. I've got quite a few of these micro SD card adapters lying around, so I set the soldering iron as low as it would go and tinned up the connectors. With the connectors tinned, I just reflowed some wires and made up a breadboard friendly plug. There's a bit of plastic meltage, but it's not too bad. With the card wired up, I tried it on the Arduino example for reading and writing to an SD card. Depressingly, this completely failed. After many attempts to get this working, I tried one of the SD cards that I used for my Raspberry Pi, and it worked. The only difference between the cards that work and the ones that don't is that the working ones are marked with XC and the failing ones are marked with HC. And also the working ones are a lot more expensive. Before giving up on my cheap SD cards, I thought I'd try the sample code from the latest IDF version. Surprisingly, it works on all the cards. With a bit of messing around, I've managed to backport the working code to the version of the IDF that Arduino comes with. And I now have it working with the Arduino framework and all the SD cards that I have. Let's see it in action. There's not much to see, but we can record some audio by pushing and holding a button. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the voice memo. And then we can play it back by tapping the button again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the voice memo. If we plug the SD card into the computer, we can see the file that has been recorded. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the voice memo. And we can load it into Audacity and play it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a test of the voice memo. There's one thing to note. The SD card should be formatted as FAT32. I believe the code also supports FAT16, but I've not tried it yet. The code is pretty straightforward, so it should be easy enough to follow but it does use free RTOS tasks, I2S and DMA transfers, so there are some fairly advanced concepts to get your head around. As usual, the code is all on GitHub. The link is in the description. I'd be really interested to hear how you get on with it and which SD cards do and don't work. I think I might turn this into a nice little voice memo project, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.